I'm just gonna tape this for the heck of it because um, you know I guess I'm still kind of in practice mode here now that I'm getting back this gentleman I just drove has lived here since 1973 and you know me being the pensive artist that I am are they gonna turn yes okay here we go okay me being the pensive artist that I am I'm always thinking what did this look like you know so many years ago um, and my GPS is telling me to go someplace else but I'm not gonna do it because I want to see the same route that I just saw the um, whole area he's lived here since 73 and it's something like Brownsville you know wherever wherever the federal prison is Fort Dix he was telling me how they used to hang out there. I know it's really boring right now, but I'll talk again in a sec, okay. How they used to hang out there as kids before it was so secure, before they had it locked up so much. He actually told, showed me like um, there were these portables that we went past where they test with uh, gas masks. They test with tear gas. And there's all these woods and apparently in the woods, I'm just not gonna listen to my GPS because I want you to see this. But in the woods, um, they they do all this shooting and everything. I mean, I'm afraid to even be near it. The guy that I dropped off, his house was the third one ever in his neighborhood. And he's been there since 73 and he's watched all these other houses be put up. And uh, really nice, really likable black gentleman. Um, just give you a picture. I spent like the last, gosh, 45 minutes with them. And the weather, it's a tad bit humid, but it is so beautiful. And you can see the trees and everything, and just imagine driving through. And it's just really, really super beautiful weather. In a second, we're going to be entering into the Fort Dix area. Um, I hope I don't get another really interesting ride tonight because I'm going to be out of tape. But uh, I think right now we're now into that area. And uh, so th this wooded area here is where apparently they uh, test for, uh, like where the army does, does their, their shooting and their training and so on, deep into the woods. Um, and on the right, we're gonna come up to these portables where they, they test the soldiers with uh, tear gas, which is really interesting. Um, it started out the ride, he was just telling me about this old milk farm, and now it's old and dilapidated, but I wanted to hear all the details about it, because whatever are you, else are you going to find out about that? Um, we went down a road that he said wasn't even there when he was growing up. And so this is it right here. If you can see that, that's where they test tear gas. We drove past it and I was like, my eyes are burning! Um, I mean, it's not the kind of thing you just make up, so I gotta believe him about that. And uh, up on the right, there's going to be a sign that leads to the federal prison. Um, so there's a lot more going on in this area than meets the eye. And it's ironic, it reminds me of when I went up to Lyons, and the whole place seemed like a beautiful park with deer. And it was nice and quiet and I, I go up there sometimes for Veterans Day or Memorial Day. But I mean in, in over 3,000 rides I have never gotten a ride to Fort Dix. I've never been in this area before and it's part of the reason that I just absolutely love driving for Uber. So here's some signs if you can see. Uh, Federal Correction Institution Fort Dix entrance. And it wasn't until I saw that that I realized Oh my gosh, this is where you grew up? But he said that, uh, you know, it wasn't always a, um, a federal prison. And he remembers it being put up. And I asked him if they all, um, you know, picketed it and fought it. And he said no. You know, I guess it just wasn't like that. Even though, you know, you imagine if they're put in a prison, a federal prison in your area. I gotta plug my phone in. And he started by, because uh, we came up this road going in the other direction. I wanted to hear about everything because he had been here since 1973 and I guess all this wasn't here but this was all part of the army base and like he said he he and his friends and you know neighbors and so on were allowed to just hang out and walk around everywhere 
And of course now with all the heightened security, it's just not like that. You know, it's not the same world. And I mean, I remember 73, I grew up in 68 is when I was born. And he must have been, uh, he was only a year older than me. So he grew up in 67. And uh, you know, I'm gonna turn this off in a second, but um, I want you to see this old farm. And once again, when I was talking to him, because he was in the back of the car, he was telling me everything from the opposite direction. Um, and I don't know, maybe maybe nobody else is as excited about this as I am. I've got cars behind me and they're not going to like this, but I want you to see this sign. In fact, I want to see this sign. So I'm going to let these wonderful people pass. And welcome to GBMDO. JB, rather, MDO. Um... What in the world does that mean? <laughs> this is a video I think my mom will like. So, oh my gosh, this is a cool Clarence Inn. I'm gonna want to get a picture of this. I just, you know, I don't have any rides coming in or anything. This is cool. This is a cool looking place right here. So I'm gonna turn in. I don't usually cut it that close with a car, but this is just. There's something about this, you know. All right, what the heck? You know, it's all just experimental, right? Um, you know, it says, it looks like it might still be open. Terrence Inn Bar, wine, whiskey, beer, open 2 p.m. It does not look open at all, and it doesn't look like any place I want to stay the night. There we have it. I don't know if that's interesting or not, but just, I'm, I'm just interested in this whole general area right now. Um, it just makes you feel a certain kind of way, you know? takes you back in time. There's fields all over with, with corn and it used to be a farm area. Um, the road looks like it's new. Maybe it's, it was put in 30 years ago or so. I wish I could describe the way it feels. Both of my windows are down. I'm glad no rides are coming in right now. So this is what I wanted to show you right here. Oh my gosh. So this guy that I, I just you know, just dropped off and I'm coming from his area right now. He's explaining to me, he, he grew up here and there were cows. It was a cow farm and they'd walk in and, and they could, I'll just do this, what the heck. <laughs> he grew up like walking in there, shopping in here. And now it's all dilapidated because the dad died and the kids didn't want to keep it up apparently. But like he would watch the cows being milked. It's just, it's fascinating to me. It looks like that's where they kept the cows or horses or something. Oh, I'm tempted to just go in and walk around. Should I do it? You would probably say yes. And then I'll act all innocent and sweet and a little bit stupid if they come out and, and try to say something to me. Because I, I know if I was watching this on the internet, I would want someone to go in and take pictures. Nobody's anywhere near. But I'm curious, and I know you are. Beautiful. You just, you can't hear anything. <laughs> so this is the good part about the guy not being with me is I wouldn't have come in and taken a look at it with him in the car. Oh my gosh. This is really cool. So based on what the gentleman told me, I guess maybe that's where they kept cows. I won't be surprised if someone comes out and tells me not to be back here. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love looking at stuff like this on the internet, so. So I'm filming this for other people like me that would enjoy it just as much. I'm gonna have to stop a second and get a picture. Okay, here's the rest of it. Maybe I can get the name of this later. 
It's just beautiful. Oh my god, I almost fell. It's an oil or something. 